Do you think oxidized fruit actually develops harmful compounds or it only diminishes the nutritional value? Uh, both. Okay. It's definitely diminishing, I mean, oxygen is destroying nutrients yeah. and there are some toxic substances that can be created in some cases. So it's, it's definitely best not to do it. Now, what we'll do here, for instance, you know, with um, melon that that's was cut and sitting all day, we'll cut the piece off before we use it. You just have to cut a small piece off, a thin piece off that's been exposed to the air. The rest is fine. Can you do the same thing with like a banana or something? Uh, probably, yeah. I, I frankly never bothered. You know, I will overeat sometimes. If I, if I bite into a banana, so I've eaten half the banana and realize that's enough, I'll probably eat the other half anyway. Okay, yeah, I do the same thing. I wasn't... I, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not likely to have a part of a banana left over. But a watermelon's a pretty big thing, yeah. so it's, it's common to have watermelon left over. And, you know, when we're refeeding you guys, because your meals are so small, if we have to cut a papaya to serve one person this much, we've got a bunch of papaya left over. That happens. Yeah, he was, he was saying with a, a ceramic knife, the food oxidizes much more slowly. And I don't know why that is, but it, but it seems to be true. Um, and ceramic knives are great, but I said we, we had, we had a, several here, um, and the staff broke them all. Like they'd start chipping them, they're just not taking care of them as well as, you know, I mean, they're, they're, they're fragile, but it's a little bit impractical. Here, you know, if it's just you at home and you're going to be careful, yeah, great. They're great. Question was, if you leave your leftovers in the fridge, do they still retain the nutrients? Um, yeah, in most cases, they'll they'll uh, they'll last. Things will last much longer in the fridge. So at the end of the day, we'll take whatever's left over and it goes in the fridge. And the first thing in the morning, we'll take it out of the fridge because we don't want to serve anyone cold food. I don't want to eat cold food most of the time. Some exceptions. When it's really hot, it's nice to have a cold thing, but generally speaking, you want your food to be room temperature. So when you're refeeding, now coconut water, if you want coconut water, right, we don't, we don't buy whole green or yellow coconuts. Imagine with all of you here, if we have 15 or 20 people refeeding at the same time, and let's say it's four or five days into the refeeding, when you're, you're getting like two or three glasses of coconut water, that could be five or six coconuts. And let's say we had 30, 20 people doing that. The staff needs to open 100 coconuts. There's no way they're opening 100 of these coconuts. Okay? We, we buy peeled coconuts. They have to stay cold. They go rancid quickly if they're exposed uh, to room temperature air because when you take the outside rind, the skin off, they're no longer impervious to airflow. So air is moving through and it's a high fat content thing there's going to be rancidity, which is why I would never consume young Thai coconuts. They're not, they're not fresh.